So your stuff disappeared. We're going to go over the main cause that uh, I get from students that are using cPanel or even AWS that say my stuff has disappeared. Okay. So here I've logged in. Well, I'm looking at my website from cPanel. So I'm a 00100. This is just something we assign at the beginning of the semester. Uh, but if this is a business or something this could be whatever your your domain name is but um, for class this is the server I use so I'm gonna log in um, you if you're in my class you probably got some credentials um, not now. sorry my password manager is really wanting to help me so um, as I'm logging in, I should mention something that I see often is people, if they're copying and pasting, um, they grab a little too much or a little too little. I'm going to change this password. I don't care if you see it. Um, so I'm going to log in. Nope. So once you've logged in to cPanel, um, of course, where we go, usually go to edit things is file manager. So I'm going to file manager and public HTML. Um, so in public HTML, uh, we do ask oftentimes people to create things called index.html. First of all, um, if you're seeing this, it's usually not a good thing. Um, you shouldn't see this. Uh, for learning purposes, we allow it. But you, you, from a business perspective, you usually turn this off. You don't want people to come and see just junk and gibberish. Um, there's security issues as well. Um, so just don't let people see it. But if you're learning and uh, we have it there so we don't cause you too much stress. Um, anyway, oh, sorry. File Manager, Public HTML. I'm going to create a new file here. Index.html. Okay. And you know what? That's good enough. So I've created it there. If I come back here and I hit enter, the stuff's gone. So it's not gone. Um, the thing is, index.html is a special name uh, for the configuration. There's a couple other special names that can do that, that take kind of the default when you're coming into a folder without um, specifying what you're looking at. So I'm at the, my root level directory. I haven't specified what I'm looking for. And it says, oh, guess what? I found index.html. Um, that is one of these accepted ones that I should just load. And it just loads it. Okay. Uh, if I don't like it, I can just rename this. And I'll call this index. If I just call it index1.html. And I come back here. And I refresh this, it's back. Okay. So that is the main reason that I see that students and people I'm helping uh, get worried that their stuff is gone. Um, no, it's just because you have the, the special name, which is good. Um, so there are things that we should do. And one of them is index.html being the default page for, for different things. But if you were ever managing a website for a company or business, you'd want to turn off direct listing anyway, um, because you don't want this, you don't want people to see it. But your stuff's there. Uh, so don't worry. Have a good day.